Hey, what's going on guys? It's Adam here, and today we're going to be doing another video, and today's video is going to be pretty interesting. Um, now, the Huawei Nova 8 Pro just got released, and the Huawei no Nova 8, and this is going to be my impressions, my first impressions of what I think of these devices. Now, um, I never actually really knew too much about the Nova series of Huawei phones, and um, I thought actually, um, when I did find out that, you know, the, this Nova series existed, I thought, wow, this Nova series is actually really good because I saw the Huawei Nova 7 and it was really, really impressive. I mean, it had a periscope camera, it had 90 hertz display, um, but I think that the Nova 8 and the Nova 8 Pro just took it to the next level. So uh, yeah, let's just get started with this video. Guys, uh, before we get started, make sure to turn on notifications. Uh, leave a like and subscribe because YouTube is kind of weird about, you know, notifications and, um, you know, people subscribing. So just make sure that you click that subscribe button. Just double check. Um, it only takes like a few seconds, so why not? And um, if you don't like my content after like a few weeks of you watching me, um, then just unsubscribe. I mean, basically subscribing is free and that's, I mean, that's probably the best thing to do, right? I mean, you want to get me to 400 subscribers. <laughs> Um, but by the way, guys, we are almost at 400 subscribers, so make sure to leave a like or actually make sure to subscribe. I'm getting my words completely mixed up. Anyways, let's get started with the video. All right. So the Huawei Nova 8 Pro and the Huawei Nova 8 just got released. And so in my opinion, I think these devices are pretty good. Now, I did talk with some people um, about what their thoughts were on the Nova 8 and the Nova 8 Pro, and there were kind of negative impressions. And I did check on GSM Arena. They have a little bit of a comment section. And I saw some of the comments, and people were saying that um, that the Huawei Nova 8 Pro isn't that good, and the Huawei Nova 8 isn't that good. In my opinion, it's actually really good. Uh, compared to the Huawei N Nova 7 Pro. Now, the Huawei Nova 7 Pro is a really impressive phone, um, but the Huawei Nova 8 Pro just takes it to the next level. And here's why. You're getting a 6.72-inch display, which is bigger than last year, and it's running at 120 hertz now, so that's, like, really great already. And then you're also getting a 64-megapixel main camera. Now, the only problem is that there's not going to be a uh, telephoto camera, but um, the main camera of the Huawei Nova 8 Pro is actually going to be the Sony IMX686, and uh, that's really, really great uh, camera. Um, it's used on the OnePlus 8 Pro and many other phones, um, so yeah, it should be pretty good. So uh, yeah, so now let's actually talk about um, the Huawei Nova 8 just really quickly, um, because I want to do kind of a comparison between the Huawei Nova 8 and the Nova 8 Pro. Now, the Huawei Nova 8, I think, is almost exactly the same as the Nova 7 Pro without telephoto, but the Huawei Nova 8 is only 500 bucks, um, while the Nova 8 Pro is about 630 bucks, somewhere around there. So, in my opinion, I think that you should go for the Huawei Nova 8 Pro, um, because the Huawei Nova 8 Pro packs some pretty good stuff. So, um, the Huawei Nova 8 Pro has a 120 hertz display compared to the 90 hertz on the Nova 8. Um, you're also getting the Kirin 985 on both phones. Now, the Kirin 985, people were actually saying that the Kirin 985 isn't that good of a chipset. Now, in my opinion, I would disagree with that. The Kirin 985 chipset is a capable chipset. It's actually just about the same speed as the Snapdragon 855. Um, so that's flagship performance still not, not, it's not top of the line flagship performance, but the Snapdragon 855 is a totally capable chip. And I would know because I'm recording on the OnePlus 7 Pro, which has this Snapdragon 855. So the Kirin 985 should be a pretty good chipset, um, if you are planning to buy this. And, um, also it comes, um, also comes with 66 watt fast charging, which is amazing. That's super fast. It will charge to 100% in 35 minutes, but there is a problem. Um, you're getting a 4,000 milliamp hour battery, which is not that impressive on the Nova 8 Pro. And I think you're also getting a 4,000 milliamp hour battery on the Nova 8, but I could be wrong. You're also getting curved size, which is great. Um, what I mean by curved size, I meant curved screen. And uh, I actually really like the curved screen. Now, tons of people hate uh, the curved screen and prefer a flat panel like the OnePlus 8T and the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE both have flat panels, but I prefer actually the curved panel. So that's just my opinion, um, but I'm 
pretty sure almost everyone's going to disagree with me so um on that but that's just my personal opinion um so yeah so um there's some other things too um some other things like there is the i already talked about the camera but uh the other cameras that you have four cameras in total you're getting a 64 megapixel main camera which i talked about and an 8 megapixel ultra which is pretty good i think it has a 120 degree field of view so pretty normal um, and then you're getting a two megapixel macro and a two megapixel depth. So that isn't that great, but everything else, considering everything that you're getting for about 630 bucks, that's a great deal. Um, you're also getting dual punch hole cameras, one, a regular wide camera and an ultra wide camera. So pretty good there. So, uh, yeah, that's basically the Nova eight pro. Um, I just wanted to make a short video of this. I'm going to be uploading basically almost every single day. Um, I may upload tomorrow. I may not. Um, but I'm not going to be uploading on Christmas day. Um, if you guys want me to upload on Christmas Eve though, like tomorrow, then let me know because I am basically going to be doing nothing on Christmas Eve, um, until like, until like, I think five or six o'clock. So I'm basically free the whole entire day to make a video, do whatever I want. So let me know in the comments below what you guys want me to do in terms of videos. Maybe I'll do an iPad Air 2 review because I haven't done that yet. Um, I could also do um, some sort of camera test. Um, so yeah, just let me know. Um, I also, maybe I could share my thoughts with, of the Xiaomi Mi 11. Um, there's been a ton of leaks coming out for that. So uh, let me know. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys liked that, this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment um, of what you guys thought of this video. And, um, yeah, I'm actually recording on the OnePlus 7 Pro's front-facing camera. So, um, this is the video quality, and I've been recording on the OnePlus 7 Pro with most of my videos, but I just wanted to point that out. I really like this front-facing camera, um, and I've taken some really great shots with this camera now. Uh, originally, I thought that the OnePlus 7 Pro camera wasn't that good. I think, actually, not originally, but a month ago, it was, like, over-sharpened. But now, actually, it's not that bad. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys later.